Michael, you have a philosophy named constructive versus destructive algorithm. Explain that for us. Okay. I'll use some of these terms loosely and maybe metaphorically. I uh, hope I don't uh, trip anybody up or maybe negate some knowledge that people have uh, in the area of cybersecurity. Uh, when I talk about how I chose to uh, place my focus uh, in uh, the field of computer science, right? what would computer science look like if we were all trustworthy humans, loved each other, and didn't really steal or didn't really access anything that didn't belong to us or uh, weren't looking to trick or deceive someone. Right? Computer science would still exist and all algorithms would be what I call constructive. Constructive algorithm, meaning that its base foundation principle is creativity and operation. Right. The only reason why cybersecurity exists, you bring in, okay, all the thieves and everybody that steals now, you can bring them back into the world. The only reason why cybersecurity exists is to protect that which has been constructed. Right. Then we go over to what I call destructive algorithms. Right. And the basis of the destructive algorithms is kind of in the word to penetrate, to destroy, to bring about confusion. Right. Destructive algorithms are the foundation of, let's say, what a hacker may use or what a fisher may use, what a spoofer may use. They are creating algorithms for these specific purposes of breaking into, destroying, uh, getting around, moving about. Right? And m most of the time, those particular algorithms or these const constructs of these, these programs, they don't serve the purpose of making someone's life easier, per se, except for maybe that uh, uh, that hacker or that malicious person, right? But the constructive algorithms are the things in which our society runs on. They are our advancements. They are our shazams, where once before you hear a song, it's a good chance you just hear the song and nobody can tell you what song that is. Until a constructive algorithm inside of Shazam for audio file recognition or audio frequency recognition gave us the constructive new benefit of being able to instantaneously recognize audio outputs. Thus, the or of constructive versus destructive, and it plays a big role in how I look at cybersecurity. Okay. If that made any sense. No, that, that, that did. I, I appreciate you sharing that. I think 